Welcome to TV5 News, everyone. It is time now for Aging and Style with American Retirement Advisors. We have on the phone president and owner Joe Vitale. Joe, it's good to see you and hear from you. How are you? Doing good, Blake. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing great over here. Thank you. Uh, just a reminder for our viewers at home, don't forget about Joe's newsletter where you can get financial news and market updates and so much more. So make sure you scan the QR code on your screen for that. But we're going to move on to today's topic, end of year strategies. Perfect timing. So as we approach the end of the year, there's some tax smart moves that could help you keep more of what you've earned. So Joe, to start us off, Roth conversion, just explain it and when and why people should do it. Mm -hmm. Roth conversion, that's a that's a great way of basically taking your IRA money, your qualified money, paying tax on it now and converting it to a Roth IRA, which basically will grow tax free and comes out tax free. Mm, okay. um, so it's a great way to if you don't have enough tax free money in retirement to create some. But the caveat is you have to pay tax now on it. Uh, so, I mean, should you do it? I think there's a lot of great strategies and you should do it depending on the tax situation, depending on what you have. Some people don't need to ever do it, you know, um, but I think it's always a great idea to take a good look at it. And a lot of our clients or a lot of our prospects or people we speak with are lacking that Roth, that tax free money in retirement. And as taxes could potentially go up, which with all the spending we've seen over the last few years, it's a good chance we're going to see taxes go up. We want to have a tax free nest egg. So absolutely, yeah. I think it could be a good thing. OK, yeah, and it sounds like a case by case basis. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Let's talk about current interest rates and how people can take advantage of better rates for return. Yeah, well, right now you're seeing, of course, the Fed's raise rates again, three quarters of a pro, uh, point mm -hmm. uh, a couple weeks back. So what does that mean? Are we starting to see the banks catch up? We are starting to see a little bit. You can see two, three percent out there. Um, we're seeing some online banks and some money markets up to two and a half percent. So if you got a a lot of money sitting in cash making absolutely nothing and, and you don't need it for a little while or even if you do need it i mean it's very liquid so definitely you can get a little bit better rate of return maybe two and a half up to three there's also some guaranteed buckets that we we have um, where you're getting very safe five percent rate of return and you still have liquidity every year uh, so there are some good safe alternatives out there to definitely keep in mind and pay and look for and we can help you with that as well. I think you need to be aware of all that. Yeah, appreciate that. So what is a required minimum distribution, otherwise known as RMD? Yeah. That's uh, you're going to pay it sooner or later. Is what <laughs> that is, is that the the, uh, the CARES Act moved that to age 72. It used to be age 70 and a half. Mm. Uh, so for everybody who has IRA money or qualified money, you have to start taking it out at age 72 and you have to pay tax on it. Uh, and that's where everybody's like, oh, my goodness, I don't want to take this money out. I don't need it. I don't want to pay any more taxes. Well, you got your death and taxes are for sure. And you're going to have to take this money and pay tax on it now. Oh, man, what a <laughs> what a phrase. Death and taxes. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. So, Joe, what should you do with your RMDs? Should you take more? You might have answered that, but I'm not sure. No, absolutely. That's a good one because you know what happens a lot of times is everybody's like, I don't really need this money. I, I'm living on my means. I'm living within my means on my, my Social Security and pension. And mm -hmm. why do I want to take this out and pay tax? Well, you, know, you have to look at your tax rate because you have to take it, number one. And a lot of people never want to take out more because it's taxable. And you talk to the accountant and they're like, well, don't, pay, don't take out more money. You'll pay tax. Well, you also have to look at this. We are in the lowest tax environment we've ever been in um, in our lifetime. So what's going to happen is we know there was a, a rollback in taxes, which are going to sunset in 2026. So we are in a low tax bracket at 10, 12 percent. It's going to go to 15. It's going to go from 22 to 24. So we might want to look at this and see if we can maximize. And a lot of our clients, we look at our tax strategies to maximize the required minimum distributions and even take more if it if it makes sense to stay in that low tax bracket and even we can even take more and convert it to a Roth and make it tax free down the road. So great strategies that I, the, the old wisdom could, was uh, never take out more because you'll pay tax. Yeah. But the way taxes are right now, if we can make it tax free down the road and do it at a low tax bracket, oh my goodness, it makes a lot of sense to do that. Uh, so yeah, definitely. Let's get a second opinion on that. We can help you with that. Yeah, yeah. I really, really, really appreciate the the way you spell out what your clients are doing because it kind of yeah. gives us a, a a better idea. So, is there a way though to not pay taxes on, on RMDs, and how would you recommend creating that tax-free yeah. nest egg? Absolutely. Uh, one of our clients, or a number of them, you know, they said, Joe, I don't need this money. What am I doing? Well. 
The next question is, are you charitably inclined? Well, yeah, I give money to the church. I mm -hmm. give money to charities. Why not have your required minimum distribution go right there directly? So if it goes there directly, guess what? You don't have to pay tax on it, and you're fulfilling your donation. So it's a great way uh, to qualify charitable distribution uh, that you can do, and the money goes directly there. You do not pay tax on that required minimum distribution. So that's a great way to, to not pay tax on your RMD. Very good. This has been very helpful, Joe. I appreciate it. Anything else you would like our viewers to know? Uh, just make sure at the end of the year, let's look at tax strategies Why we still can. You know, there's not much time left. Mm -hmm. uh, so we literally 30, 45 days before the end of the year, we want to make sure we can take advantage of the tax brackets we have this year. So let's look at Roth conversions. Let's look at ways, uh, other ways people have to take required minimum distributions. They don't need the money. There are still strategies we can take that. And even though you're going to pay tax on it, we can convert it into something that can grow tax-free and be paid out tax-free. So definite time to make sure you maximize the tax bracket. And we're getting real close to Thanksgiving, so we definitely want to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. Very thankful for, for you and for everyone and for our clients. And uh, we're just so thankful and just want to wish everybody the best. Yes, 100%. I'll echo that. Thank you, Joe, for guiding us, and uh, we're thankful for you. Thanks. Thanks, Blake. Take care. All right, you too. And for the latest financial news and market updates, of course, be sure to subscribe to Joe's newsletter, Financial Vitals. And for more information on today's topic, just go to the Aging and Style page on our website, WNEM.com.